Hello, hi um, Sagittarius and welcome to your love forecast for um, April 2017 and my name is Bella, welcome to my channel, channel. and people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic and how I do my um, forecast is through my spirit guides for the month of um, April 2017 so I work a little bit differently to most people but if you do like what I have to say do comment, do share, do subscribe I'd love to have you on board and if you want to know more about me and my services or my Facebook community just look at the links below as well so 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 we've got a really interesting month how do I put it we have basically four planets going ret retrograde at different stages through this through this month which is highly 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 unusual and how would it play out for you guys so the planets that are going retrograde which is venus which we're already going retrograde and lasts for um till the 16th and it's the first time that's happened in about 19 months then we have our second mercury retrograde for this year which starts from the 10th and then we have a saturn retrograde and we have a Pluto retrograde so if you've got four planets basically standing still in the sky which is highly highly unusual so it makes April quite interesting but I feel for me it makes April very interesting in terms of how it affects our thoughts when it comes to the connections we're in or the connections we're trying to get in so this is a general overview and for some things that my guides want everybody who's a Sagittarius to think about when it comes to their love life for 2018, sorry, 17, so that you can navigate through it and through what's happening astrologically for you guys in the best way that you can. Um, for you guys in particular, in the first week, because Venus is still retrograde, but particularly in that week, it is really magnifying your relationship area quite nicely, which is good. <laughs> um, really, really well, to a point where it feels like either you or somebody else you're either dating or you're in a connection with is very much feeling like this um mine 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 he's mine or she's mine <laughs> like there is a bit of neediness going on but you, but it doesn't matter because sometimes some neediness can be okay particularly because if it makes somebody feel warm it, the overall feeling i'm getting if i can explain this well is that you or somebody else is making you feel like you're really needed and it's a little bit smothering, but in the good way, not in the bad way. I feel for some of you Sagittarius, you'll relish that kind of somebody kind of wanting to see you all the time, wanting to be around you all the time, wanting to touch you all the time, wanting to you know, intimacy, everything, like almost like you're in each other's faces. <laughs> but you both seem happy about it. So this is not the negative needy smothering. This is the good, they're mine <laughs> situation, not the dominant kind of overwhelming. It's a good thing. I just get a lot of closeness and intimacy in partnerships and you feeling very satisfied because it feels like it spills over also into um, um, other areas of your life. You're feeling in that week content pretty much about finances, your love life, can't go wrong. So again, great week to start dating if you are single and looking as well. It's at a, a time when somebody will be like, I want to see you now. <laughs> when can I see you again it's that kind of energy and it's a, in a good way it's reciprocated so that's a nice way to start and then from the 10th as we go into the second week we then go into a Venus retrograde and it's still good but what the sort of not Venus retrograde we're going into a Mercury retrograde now Mercury retrogrades will often magnify our thoughts on what we perceive as people's negative qualities or things that are great on us, they are magnified more as as Mercury starts to go retrograde. And it feels to me just in as it starts to turn, there it, 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 its effects on you are not as powerful perhaps as it would be on other star signs, but it does feel for you that you are... Oh, I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> it's like, like you're really happy, you can see the success, but there is a little bit, like it feels to me like... If this was any other star sign, they would be 100% would be looking at the negative and thinking, oh, you know, why are they leaving the toilet seat up? Or um, like the things that irritate us in life <laughs> really go bad, where yours is more mild, but it's more sneaky. I don't, that's the only way I can describe this. I'm trying to get my guides to give me a bit more clarity on this, but it feels like, and I have to say, and I, and I, have, and I can say this because I'm a Sagittarius, but it feels to me that it is coming from, you guys energy as almost wanting to manipulate a situation when it comes to matters of the heart even if you're subconscious about this or not 
it feels like you're wanting to get something, which is again positive, but perhaps using your masculine or feminine charm in a way that might be construed as manipulative in order to get your way about something. That is the, my best explanation. I mean, I feel here you have to be careful with that because it feels to me that that could, um, could be very well noticed by depending on what other star sign you're with, particularly if they are an air sign, they will pick that up pretty much straight away and it will cause problems um, and challenges. But if it is any other connection, it feels like you'll get your way, but is it the right way to go about getting what you want in the connection? Do ask yourself that. And and it is unusual, but it's but not unusual considering we've got four planets doing what they're doing. So you might be watching this today going, well, I wouldn't do that. Because I would say that I wouldn't do that. But it's shown that some of you will. <laughs> and maybe maybe even I would. Who knows? Because you, with this combination of planets, sometimes it can make us be not ourselves. So just be mindful if you're trying to get something, you know, trying to get an engagement out of somebody, you're trying to get a holiday out of somebody, or you're trying to get whatever it is you're trying to get out of somebody. Be mindful about how you're doing it. Are you doing it? in your authentic self or are you doing it a little bit underhand and sneaky because it might backfire on you but by the by <laughs> as you get to the third week when the retrograde energy really fully is in full swing um like i just get here ah oh. <laughs> sorry this this reads making me a little bit uncomfortable because it feels like like you're it's like this. It's, this is how my guides show it. That you're like this. Hmm. Like it's a little bit like dissatisfaction. I think is the word to use, or or like indecision, or like a feeling of feeling a bit like like I don't know if I if if I'm really happy <laughs> in this connection, which is very different from the beginning of, of the month. Now I think that you feel like that because of the energy and I've been saying this in nearly every reading it almost makes us believe that something is not that we're not okay with something that something's a bit meh when actually it's not so please know if you're having one of those hmm, I don't know whether you know I'm happy or I want this or you know did I make the right decision having that person back or did I make the right decision with this person I'm dating or is my full-term connection you know could he be better or could she be better, you know, just, 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 just know that it's the energy, and I think also because it's such a contrast, because Venus was really boosting it up at the beginning of the month, that actually when you then have another energy, energy shift that's quite opposite, it's no wonder that you might look back at the first week and then go, mm, well, I missed that, why is it not here this week, you know, it's because of the energy, it is completely because of the energy. So again, I've been saying to people, this is a good thing about having a forecast because it can get you to navigate it through. You perhaps now seeing this will be mindful of that and reframe things in your head differently and say, nope, that's just the energy. Everything is fine because it is. Because I get for some of you in that week, you could then pull back your energy. So you might not call people. You may not um, respond to people, that person that you're with quite well the communication may die down because of that effect oh boy i think we want to get past april don't we <laughs> with all these planets being stationary <laughs> because as we get into the last week and 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 i think and i feel here it's an important message because of the the energy that we will have from these four planets because basically, I've been explaining. It, I've been explaining it to people like this. You imagine that you are um, there's wet concrete. When the planets are moving forward, you you can walk through that um, wet concrete, you know, quickly, and it only leaves a small imprint. But then, because those planets are stationary, then you imagine like you're standing in wet concrete. It leaves a bigger imprint. If you allow that contrast in energy. And then what you're perceiving to not be as good as it was going to cloud your thoughts, you really may magnify that and get really wrapped up in the Mercury and Saturn 
um, elements of the retrograde to the point where you really and, and it's a hard one because some of you may see that things are really like really build illusions in your mind or the reality is depending on who you're with particularly if they are an air sign again that actually they are not behaving really really well because of your um because oh, it's hard to explain because of the friction maybe to put it to put it quite plainly you could walk away from a situation you could break up with somebody at the end of the month if you allow yourself to get entangled in the energy of what's happening astrologically so there is a bit of a warning my guides are saying here and i hate to talk like this but i like to be real with people because i don't want people to just um go through the whole entire month thinking oh bella said it's wonderful and then you get to the end of the month and then bam <laughs> you're like what happened why why wasn't i warned this is the warning really really ground yourself really really spend some time um with positive positive thoughts and positive affirmations in the last two weeks of april because if you allow the energy of mercury and saturn to get into your psychology and magnify like i said all the things that um mercury in particular does in terms of looking at the negative attributes you could break up with somebody and highly regret it as you go into May. But also please know that particularly if you're working with an air sign in particular, that they also may be displaying behaviours that may make you, that make that that actually is real, <laughs> that is actually real for you, that actually you are in a place where you're looking at that situation saying, well, no, this is definitely not me. And I would agree that it's definitely their energy that's quite making you severely question because for them astrologically something the way it's impacting them just fans your fire basically to the point where you'll be like oh no I can't I can't do so I hope you get me because I feel that that's complicated basically I feel here you out of most signs as you get to the last couple of weeks in April like you start good but then, and the energy creeps in slower than other people, but then has more effect on you at the end. That almost in a way, I would say, if you can't manage that energy, then I would, then I would suggest you just pull yourself back from that connection until you get into May. Not fully, but just reduce the interac interaction if you can't, if you feel that the temptation of the energy is going to lead you to a place you don't want to be so I hope you get me I think April is interesting to navigate because of what is happening in such a unusual way you know you don't get conjunctions like this all the time this is like you know a phenomenon <laughs> years in the making so it is no wonder that it's going to have this kind of confusing energy even to the point that I'm finding it quite hard to explain but I hope you get me basically good 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 sort of starts to get next to good could get not really good and then could get really bad depending on how you frame things so this is definitely a very key and I would say here this is not even just for particular Sagittarius this is for all Sagittarius's watch how this energy impacts you in particular about how you're framing things in your mind about how a connection that you have with somebody or your expectations with somebody is basically being clouded by the energy so this is not me having a go at you this is the energy trying to have a go at you and you need to push back with your intention setting with your manifestations with your affirmation and if you can't do that and you see it slipping then just step away and then walk back to it in april so gosh I really hope that makes sense and um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to be mindful of that too <laughs> so anyway I do hope that's helped you today my dears and uh, thank you if you've liked this do like to subscribe do share and I hope you have a great April and uh, and have taken the advice that's been heeded by my guides take care bye